The default speed limit in Salt Lake City is now going down from 25 to 20 miles per hour. The city council made that decision just last night. Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph found many people praising the change in hopes of saving lives. Feeling great. Yeah, we, we were we were expecting this to take three to five years. Yes. Mono. Enthusiastically, yes. Otherwise. Yep. Me too. Yes. As of last night, Salt Lake City has started this process, and it's it's a win for anyone who lives next to a street, which is everybody. And I'm a yes, that passes unanimously. I'm really impressed with the council. It was a unanimous decision by the Salt Lake City Council to move forward by slowing down, changing the default speed limit from 25 to 20. And that's the new baseline, that's the new floor, and that's exactly how it should be. This is Benjamin Wood. And even when I moved to the city, I didn't have too much of an issue weaving in and out of cars and jumping through traffic. Hey man, thanks again. But it was when I tried to teach my son how to ride a bike and when I tried to get my, my family to go out on a bike, suddenly I realized how scary it was. He's a board member of Sweet Streets Utah, a group that's been fighting for this. In the event of human error, in the event of a bad driver, a drunk driver, whatever might happen, the studies show that if you're below 30, your odds of surviving a crash or just having minor injuries is way higher. The science says if slower cars means safer streets, which means more livable neighborhoods. Brian Hutchinson is another that's been fighting for this. As a resident, getting involved in his own neighborhood because of the issue of speeding. Our, we've had our house for 30 years. There's been a tenfold increase of, of traffic. And he's seen when speed limits are lowered, like in his own Capitol Hill neighborhood, yeah. people feel safer. It brings a community together, and so we're walking more, we're talking more, we don't have, and we don't have to yell over the loud, polluting, you know, racing vehicles. But lowering the speed limit can't bring back the lives that have been lost. There's no taking away the, the loss of life the tra and the disruption to people's lives and families and friends. But hopefully this will protect the future. The plan on measure of success is, is the, the safety of the streets for children. So while this is a win, the default maximum speed limit of 20 is, is a great start. These two say there's more to go. And now we're just talking about what's next. How do we go from here? While changing the speed limit is going to be a big plus for those that have been fighting for this, they also say it signals that the city is ready to make even more serious changes when it comes to pedestrian safety. In Salt Lake City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.